Hello, thank you for joining me. In this video, I will be creating the painting you see here with the Yono acrylic markers from Marabou that I received in my Palletful Packs premiere box in April. I'm working from this reference photo by permission from the photographer Bron Clark, and I will link to his Instagram in the description below so that you can check it out. Here I'm going to lay in my horizon line, it's gonna start coming in with some water, and I'm just gonna go right into that wet and wet straight from the marker. I wasn't quite sure how I wanted to approach this one, but I knew I wanted to try painting with these. So in the beginning, I was just I'm picking uh, some of the paint up from the tip of the marker and laying, laying that down. I didn't want my sky to blend. So you see there, I, I put the yellow in and I let it dry. And then I wanted to come back with the blue so that as that moved, they wouldn't merge and become green. So I was trying to avoid that. So again, letting it dry. And here I take a shift and I start to put the marker right onto a plate. And then I'm, I'm thinning with a little bit of water, mixing those and coming right in. During a live stream where I shared these, I just saw the color as it hit water just kind of explode. And I really wanted to explore more of that kind of wet and wet painting with these. And I also, I saw this photo and I just loved the clouds. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to do, this is a small four by six study. And I thought, what a great thing to use to just try to see how I could do with recreating some of these clouds. Would these blend? Um, normally when I work in acrylic paint, I love how I can get the colors to blend. And I was really hoping because these are acrylic, I would get that same that same ability. It was kind of like acrylic meeting watercolor it makes me think of acrylic wash. Um, but these were definitely different. These were definitely, definitely different. Um, I found that they dried very quickly. If I wanted to blend colors into each other, even though my paper was wet, they just weren't going to move and continue to, you know, continue to let me blend. It wasn't like, and it, they're just very different, not bad, just different. So I'm just going to keep going through and layering up and building, building, adding on more dark colors. But the wonderful thing about this is, and you're going to see because that bottom right part of this painting is going to give me a heck of a time. And I'm just going to keep going through and adjusting things and I'm not giving up. I really wanted to push these um, acrylic paint markers, pens, whichever you prefer to call them, and really see what else could I do with them aside from putting them directly on something. You saw me test out everything they said in that live stream. And if you didn't, I'll link that in the description below as well. Uh, you can check that out. I mean, we, they said you could put them on rocks. We put it on rock. You could do it on glass. We painted on the glass. You know, we did every surface they said metal. Uh, we did paper, you know, everything that they, they threw out there, wood, we did it. And, and when I was painting on the canvas with these and I came in with the water and that color just kind of took off. And then Marabou says you can also use these like a watercolor. I had to give this a go. So you're just going to see here, I keep, I keep building up my colors, just working with that reference photo. I, this is not, I'm not going for hyper realism here. I'm just, just wanted to do a fun study of some clouds and their reflections in the water. This was, I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with this one. And here I let it dry again because now I'm like, I need to stop, just let it set. I think I went and grabbed something to eat and came back and it was dry. So I'm going to let you watch this play out for a little bit and then we'll get back together and talk some more.
you see there, I loved how well the white covered that corner just wanted to, it just kept at me and I would move away from it. And then I kept coming back and then I was like, okay, it was just making it worse. I was like, you got to stop. So finally I just came in with the white marker, lightened everything up, matched that yellow back. And then I was like, I'm leaving it because I knew I was going to be putting reflections of trees in here. I was going to cover part of that up anyway. So I was like, stop messing with it. How many of you do that to yourselves? I know I do it all the time. So here you're going to see, I'm just going to start laying in the land. And really my focus was the clouds. So I have not mapped out this part of the painting. Again, this is a four by six study. I, I just you're going to see, you know, the trees aren't spaced exactly like they should be. Um, and this paper, all oh, this paper, it kept curling. It was warping. It didn't want to stay stuck down. I could have used some heavier masking on top of this and got it to lay back. I didn't. I, I guess I was just in fight with my paper mode on this one, but I just kept going and you'll see I'm laying in, in the different trees and I'm like, my spacing's going to be off. I know my spacing's going to be off, but I'm just, I'm just going with it. And I still don't think it's going to look bad. It's again, I wasn't going for photorealism in the first place. It was based off of this reference. Yes. But if it wasn't perfect, I was okay with that. My biggest thing was just working on my clouds and their reflections. And I'm really pretty happy with the way that they turned out. Um, the contrast is a bit more amped up. It's a little darker than, again, the reference photo, but I, I does not bother this. Again, this doesn't bother me. I was enjoying this process and I hope you are too. I'm going to continue to let you watch for a little bit and I will be back with some more information. <music>
Okay, so here I'm just softening the glue on that tape. This is the Canson XL paper. I am still looking for a supply that I like on this paper. I can't say that I found it yet, but I'm still holding out hope. Do you guys get problems with your watercolor paper warping? I'm going to have another video where I'm going to show you how I fix this paper because you're going to see when I lift this up, it is really, really warped. So I'm going to make another video and I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix this and get it to lay nice and flat and that'll be coming and I'll be sure to link that for you here as soon as it's available right there. You can see that is really warped and I hope you liked this one. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. But in the meanwhile, this here's another video that you might enjoy. And let me know in the comments, do you use acrylic paint pens or markers? And have you tried these Yono markers by Marabou? If you have, have you ever tried them like this? If you have acrylic markers at all, whether they're Yono or Posca or whatever. I look forward to chatting with you in the comments below. And remember, keep creating and I will see you in the next one.